Hey guys, this is Ant bringing you a Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. So I've had a request on how to create a more Mario style camera where the it doesn't follow the Z axis but it does have some offsets so that Mario effectively starts at more of the bottom left of the screen. Um, so I'll just quickly go into how we can do that now uh, as part of the Parallax camera tutorial series. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the player character I'm just going to drag it into the, the bottom left side of the map here so that the, the play position starts there. That's pretty much consistent with Mario and uh, most of the sort of side scrolls you get. So I'm going to go into the parallax camera. Um, as I say, I've linked, I'll link the t uh, previous tutorials in the series in the description below uh, so you can get up to this point. Um, but for now I'm just going to go into the parallax camera and that's got all the blueprints that were previously created. So first thing I need to do is add a variable and I'm going to call this offset. Oh, nice. Offset. Make it instance editable. So what this should do is if I just add a vector Drag that into here, hit compile. And if I go into the parallax camera and I just start typing offsets in. So let's see. Currently the it's centered on the player, but if I go into the camera and I give the Z offset 200 and hit play, as you can see there. It's pretty much in line with the, the platforms. However, if you notice, the, the camera is still tracking center. So ideally, once more Mario-esque kind of camera system so that when the, the player starts, they'll move and the camera will then catch up to them and be centered in the screen. So we'll go into how to do that into the next part. So what we want to do next is we want to make it so that when player is pressed, the character will appear in the sort of the bottom left of the screen, travel along and then the camera will pick them up. And in order to do this, we're going to basically choose two points along the x-axis to which the, the camera can travel and it can't go past those two points. So I'll go into that now. So first thing we need to do is we need to create another variable. And what we'll do is we're gonna drop this in the event begin play section here. Go to add a variable, make it an array. I'm going to call this camera x axis clamp. I want to make it instance editable and I want to show a 3D widget for this. Uh, that'll make sense in a minute. So it's publicly editable. Drag it in. I'm going to get the first index. I get another copy and I'm going to change the index to 1. Now from the index 1 I want to drag out a transform location. Control W that node, again drag it in. Right click, get act to transform, connect these next thing I need to do is on these transfer uh, locations which is basically creating a local space to a well uh, space position is I'm going to split the stroke pins now what I'm going to do here is on the X pin I'm going to promote that to a variable and that, that's what I'm going to do. that left axis min. Promote with a variable again. Right axis min. Or max, right, go point max. Drag that in. Connect these. Now 
buttons. There you go. So those are the two positions set up. And I'll show you why I'm going to why we're using transform location in a minute. So players over here, and here's our parallax camera. So if you go on the right hand side, you'll see that we've got this camera access clamp variable. So I'm going to add two copies of it. And hopefully grab the oh no that's that's the, first, the second index which is one. I'm going to drag this along here. And I want this basically to be the maximum position that the camera can go to. But the problem is, if you go into the actual vector here, you'll notice that it's not transitioning on the, the x-axis, it's transitioning on the y-axis. And that's because it's using the camera's own um, positional system relative to the camera. So what I want to do is I want to convert this y-value into an x-position on the, on the x-axis by using transform location. So what I'm going to do is just move that out, 1400, and then for the second variable, I might just do make that a bit bigger. I might make that 2000. First, I'll drag it a bit more. There we go. So it pretty much comes to the end of the map. Make sure that's zeroed out. And then when we run this code, that will give you the the actual proper world location for these two markers. So next thing we'll do is we'll make sure that these clamps are actually used. Okay, so next thing we need to do is make sure that when we update the camera position, that the camera can only travel between these two um, x-axis points set here. So what we need to do is zoom out and we'll need to go into the update camera position method. So, what we need to do is we need to drag off here, and we're going to look for a clamp float. So, for the top one, we've got the left axis min. For the max, we've got the right axis max. Next thing we need to do is we need to connect that here and then for the other value we need to just drop it in here instead. Hit compile, hit apply. Quickly go into the parallax camera. We're going to disable the follow Z axis so that um, the camera doesn't move when the uh, on the uh, z-axis when the, when they jump. So if we hit play, you can see here that the play starts in the bottom left, and when they reach a certain position, you can see that the camera follows them. So if I just run so all the way over to the other end of the map, and there you go. So run back again. Parallax effect still going on in the background. And then when they get to the end, the camera stops folding on the x-axis. Thank you for watching my video. And if you like what you see, please subscribe and like. And feel free to leave a comment below if you have any feedback or suggestions. Take care, guys. Goodbye.